Just a couple things to think about, some rules of the road, and then we'll bring Ralph up right in just a couple minutes from now, okay? Having said that, everybody, in about two minutes, I want to welcome you, of course, to Dell Wise Blue Theater. By the way, my name is Brian Taylor, so you know who to complain about the show management. I'm kidding. There you go. Yeah. All right, listen, get a ticket if you haven't already. Take a seat. You know, the drawing's going to be at the end of our upcoming presentation. Is that right? And again, in just a couple of minutes, we have uh, Ralph Nitch up here, okay? And again, those of you just joining us, you guys have heard this, it's going to be end-to-end uh, -end cloud computing with Dell. It's a great innovation. Having said that, now, uh, we want to make sure you're comfortable, okay? If you're still out in the aisle, okay, grab a seat, guys. Go ahead. Last chance. Okay. Now, again, some reminders to all of you guys. Dell Cloud Client Computing Array offers all you need to construct an ideal virtual desktop infrastructure within your own company. That's right. Powerful servers, highly scalable storage, high-speed networking, Secure firewalls, all right, VPN devices, and the world's most high-end EDI virtualization and management software so that you ensure that you get those uses, those demands of your users. You meet them, not to mention the budget requirements of the CFO's office, right? Not, that's a good thing, that's my Martha Stewart moment, okay? Now the double is right next door in the Dell Wise booth right here. We have some of these greatest solutions, these greatest and greatest solutions on display designed to enable and enrich any virtual or cloud environment for you. So don't miss out on that, everybody. Take a look after the presentation. Give yourself a live one-on-one -on -one tour of what Dell and Wise can do for you. And now, without any further ado, it's my pleasure to welcome Mr. Ralph Ditch, everybody, from Dell Computing. Let's give him a big Round of applause. Come on. A warm tail welcome. Come on, guys. Thank you. Here we go. Uh, what you don't realize is Brian is my senior engineer. All the tough technical questions, I want you to direct them this way. Bring it. <laughs> well, thank you all very much for joining today. Thank you very much for your time. We have a fantastic story to share with you. Okay? And the reason why I want to share a story with you is we've had a lot of customers, a lot of other partners say, wait a minute. I thought you only sold the hardware, PC, servers. You're the number, you're the top dog when it comes to providing infrastructure that powers the cloud. You mean to tell me you also provide cloud services? Absolutely, we do. Why? Because the marketplace says this is where we got to go. It's no longer a good idea or adequate for us to say, "Hey, you've got an IT problem. I can sell you another server. I can sell you another notebook. Would you like some more hardware?" We demand more. We realize that, and as a result, we've made significant investments in in the end solution the cloud services. How much? Still the game reminds me. By 23 acquisitions, 23 companies. Now, up until just five years ago, we always were organic. You know, we said, well, you know, we're not really in the merchant acquisition business. We'd rather grow our own products organically. But at the speed the market's moving, and what you demand from Dell as your IT partner necessitated that we provide you end end solutions. We had to do a 180. And we went basically on shopping street looking at the best of breed applications, services, infrastructure, cloud optimization providers, security to provide you solution that meets these challenges. How many of you recognize some of these challenges right here? I'm fast enough. How many of you have heard of something called Shadow IT or Experience Shadow IT? A couple of you? You know what Shadow IT is? It's when a business unit comes to you as the IT deliverer and say, hey, I need this, I need infrastructure for this e-commerce site. I need it now. I've got a revenue number to get. Sorry, it's going to be, we've got to go ahead and set up the infrastructure. We've got to go ahead and optimize the infrastructure. We'll be ready in about two or three months. What do they do? They say, you know what? That's not good enough. I've got a number to get. I've got to move forward. You're not fast enough, you've got a shadow IT problem. All of a sudden, you've got business units going around you deploying a server on into their desk, whatever the case may be. Okay? We can help with that. We can provide IT solutions that provide the speed, efficiency that's needed to deal with the complexity. A perfect example we'd like to start off with is what are customers doing today for Dell as far as cloud delivery goes? Well, why? This is a fantastic customer that said, hey, I've got a great idea. How about if we have 
our customers that are on vacation in Cancun or South America, wherever the case may be, and they want to make a call back home to their friends and family, if I get my fingers right, and it's a free call. Wow, that's kind of cool. Well, how do you pay for that model? Well, you do it through this little kiosk that has advertisers providing restaurant updates, local excursions, deep sea fishing, whatever the case may be. They said, we've got to take this to market fast. Otherwise, you know what? The next guy is. Well, geez, now we've got to go through, we've got to set up all this hardware, we've got to cable, we've got to make sure it's the right amount of resources to meet the application's needs. You know, that's going to take two or three months. That is too slow. Back to the speed discussion, right? Well, guess what they did? They partnered with Dell, VCloud Services. We have infrastructure ready to go. They were able to spin up resources on the fly. And the beauty is, as they continue to grow, we just continue to add more and more resources. How many of you know about software as a service? Pretty much everyone, right? I mean, it's been out there for years. Okay. Because of security maturing, networks maturing, the next logical way we move forward the marketplace is infrastructure as a service. Being able to spin up resources on the fly to meet these type of business needs, to get the market quicker, so that you can serve your customers quicker, so you can be more competitive in the marketplace than your competitor. You can go ahead and achieve your revenue goals quicker. You can drive down costs quicker. Why? Because you've got infrastructure set up by Dell ready to go. Another example is through our hybrid integration. How many of you have multiple internal systems trying to talk to each other and you have to maybe do manual updates to get one system to update another one? Yeah. A lot of times you may have one system that's not talking to another system. Maybe we can help. A good example is the One World Alliance from all these carriers. Before Boomi, if there was a code sharing agreement update, a fare schedule or a schedule update, a fare update, whatever the airlines needed to do to stay in sync with each other as part of this alliance program, somebody had to go down, an IT engineer had to go down and update this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and go through the whole list. With Boomi, one carrier can make a code change update, a revenue fare update, whatever the case may be, automatically populates through all these carriers. That's where IT is going, that's where Dell is going, to drive efficiencies forward so you don't have a bunch of people trying to figure out API integration, communication. You know what? We've got the technology out there. Let Dell help you use that. And here's some of the cost advantages to speak with Dell. Having infrastructure ready to go, you only use what you need, and you pay for what you use. 41x improvement in overall provision time, taking the traditional approach of 109 days to plan out and decide exactly what you want to deploy in your data center to two days. Subscribe to those resources, securely set up by Dell and the cloud. We're going to talk about security because one of the biggest barriers to cloud adoption is, well, wait a minute, is it secure? Great question. We're going to talk about that. Overall 30% cost advantage. How can we achieve a cost advantage of 30%? on-premise versus having resources in the cloud. I'll tell you how. For one thing, you're no longer having to patch that server, apply any virus, having to deal with what we like to call in the IT business, pain, power, pipe, all that infrastructure, that care and feeding of your server farm. There's an easier, better way where it makes sense to be able to lower your costs by having those resources available on the fly versus this excess capacity sitting over here just depreciating. And perhaps you only need, need it during the um, peak holiday shopping season. Obviously you need to spin up all these resources on the fly to meet your compute needs during a busy time such as holiday shopping, school, whatever the case may be. But then the rest of the time, all this excess capacity that you still have to carry and feed is sitting there depreciating. Okay? This is how we achieve value by having resources available only when we need it. And that's really what our cloud story and the investments we're making. We're a key serious player in this space to be able to provide and transform your business. Let us help you based on the investments, investments you've made to date to find out how can we help you get to market quicker, achieve your revenue ramp faster, drive down your cost through standardization, through being able to have your systems communicate with each other seamlessly, if you will, being able to spin up resources. And the really great news, Accelerate growth. How? Well, guess what? If you're no longer focusing on just the needs of the infrastructure, and now you can shift more of those budget dollars, more of those engineering resources, 
to the needs of your applications. Now that's strategic improvement. That's business value where you're focusing on what drives your business forward and not having to worry about keeping the lights on. This is something people like to call internally is the uh, Simon Says Wheel. Remember that 1980s, that color-coded wheel? You know, I love it. It's awesome because it really encapsulates, encapsulates, if I can say that right, uh, where we're going with our cloud enterprise class solutions. When we looked at this space, we said, you know what? What does enterprise class look like? There's a lot of cloud providers out there today. They tend to be a place where you can go ahead and park your application, but then you're like on an island. You can't get back very easily. We said that's not what enterprise looks like. You are only able to get to support via an email. And maybe you might get a response back 20 or 40, 48 hours later. That's not what enterprise class looks like. So we're going to take a couple minutes now and walk through Dell's story and investments where we've geared our investments to provide enterprise, enterprise class and the ability to make Dell Cloud Services truly a seamless extension of your IT delivery. The first way is being able for you to self-serve and greater use and enable of your mobile workforce. Being able to provide the ability to have your end users, your business units, provision resources up on the fly. Remember we talked about that whole speed thing earlier? How all of a sudden you've got a shadow IT problem, somebody going around you to go ahead and get their e-commerce site set up or application, whatever they need to dictate. Well, guess what? How about if you provide that particular group the ability to spin up those resources for their business needs on the fly? But you also have the governance in place to be able to manage how they use those resources. That's what IT agility looks like. That puts you in the driver's seat as far as managing IT delivery for all of your business units across the company. That's really being able to build, being able to, with the secure wrapper around, we're going to talk about that in greater detail, being able to set up and deploy infrastructure as your workloads and application needs dictate. Now, why we have a demonstration over here for vCloud, or public cloud offer, we recognize that there are instances where public cloud makes perfect sense. There are instances where private cloud, on-premise systems make perfect sense. But our story, provides for you this ability to seamlessly move workloads back and forth as your business needs dictate. And that's really what this talks about right here, being able to improve overall IT governance. You want to go ahead and reduce your costs as well as your risk through seamless integration across physical and cloud-based services. One of the aspects of eCloud and our partnership with VMware now Coming up on 11 years, we're by the way, the number one reseller of VMware, also the number one user of VMware is the number one customer in terms of having converted 11,000 hardware servers at Dell to virtual servers, saving us $200 million. Well, why am I telling you this? Hopefully you can see, not only are we making investments in the journey, but we've been on that journey ourselves. We've worked very hard to reduce our costs, and I'm pleased to report that 48% of our IT budget now goes to keeping the lights on, and 52% goes for the needs of the application, applications that serve your business needs. We were at 70% just a few years ago. So this is what cloud has done for them. Being able to integrate. Using VMware's vCloud connector. How many of you are VMware customers today? Yeah, I kind of figured that. This is kind of why we're up here, right? How many of you are virtualized by 50%? Let's see a show of hands. 70%. Wow, okay, yeah. Did you know that leveraging Dell's vCloud, already stood up, ready to go, we provision resources for you, you have a plugin known as vConnector. vConnector allows you to seamlessly power down your VMs that are sitting on-premise inside your data center or wherever you host, you copy them over across the secure VPN connection and bring them out on the vCloud's instance. Well, how's that from a business value standpoint? There's your speed. You're now able to make network and DNS changes, and within a few hours, you've got traffic flowing to the application on Dell's side. You can scale up, or 
if you want to do the opposite and go back with an on-premise, you can do that as well. Why is that important? Most every other cloud provider out there has tools that get you on their cloud very easily, very seamless. However, once you're there, if you have a bad support experience, they change the price, they change the contract, whatever the case may be, guess what? You're on an island. Now you don't have to tear down the application and physically move it back over to your private cloud. That's not what enterprise class looks like. For us to be a true partner in IT delivery, we had to make sure it was seamless for you chose based on your business needs, based on your operation needs, where you wanted to have those resources live. Okay. Dell is the only one that's leveraging vConnector as a part of VMware to do this. Okay. And that really goes into the main point of this discussion. Cloud services couldn't just be something else that would provide you. It had to be simple, it had to be seamless, it had to be something that was an extension of your IT so that it could drive value. Make it simple, make it easy. Let's talk a little bit about security. That's one of the number one barriers to adopting a cloud solution. It doesn't make sense. Okay. We've invested very heavily here. How many of you have heard of SecureWorks? A few of you? That happens to be the number one Magic Quadrant leader for Gartner. Number one. They are the premier provider of managed security. And they happen to be the Dell. It's a Dell offer. Okay. Critical, critical, because what they do is we've got SecureWorks threaded throughout all of our infrastructure. They're constantly looking at the logs, firewalls, everything to make sure that there's no malicious code, events, forms, whatever the case may be. Protected 24 by 7. The other step that we have is one of the biggest challenges we see in security. I call it the weakest link. How many of you know what the weakest link in security is? Anybody know? Human collaboration, collusion, all of that fun stuff. Okay? Brian, did you know that? I did not know that. Did yeah. you guys know that? <laughs> weakest link. Yeah. You so are weak. the weakest link. You are the weakest, weakest link. link. That's right. How do we stop that? How do we stop human beings from collaborating to get access at your data that you have on a cloud? The way we do that is with a relationship between Micro that allows you to download a key from their site. It allows, we provide you the resources through our vCloud offer, and guess what? I have no access as a Dell employee to Trend Micro site. Trend Micro has no access to the infrastructure that we provide, that you use, only what you need. We actually put the two together, and guess who holds the keys of both? Who has access? You do, and only you do. You download the encryption key to encrypt your virtual drives. You have access to the resources. Having that independent third party eliminates the weakest link. And that's exciting. You go to other websites and say, oh yeah, we provide support for encryption. That's not what enterprise class looks like from Dell's point of view. Our point of view is we've got to make it seamless, we've got to make it easy. And with our partnership with Friend Micro, that's very much a reality. Okay, now here's a test. Okay, and Brian, you're going to make sure that yes. whoever, whoever can memorize this in 10 seconds uh, gets a prize, okay? Ready? One, two, three, go. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's a busy slide. We know that. But it's busy for a reason. We wanted to really illustrate, look at all the investments, 23 companies that we've acquired, and hopefully what this shows you today is Dell is not just that go-to resource for a server or PC, notebook, whatever the case may be, that we have a whole host of services and capabilities and end-to-end -end solution that helps you achieve your business goals. And mind you, I emphasize business goals, okay? It's all about how can we enable your success. The way we do that is to learn about your business, understand the investments you've made, and let's marry up the appropriate IT cloud solution that best serves your needs. Okay. That's key critical. That's a part of our story. That's the value we offer you. As a result, I'm going to close with this final slide that shows a case study of exactly how we did that. So University of Kentucky, they had an SAP issue where they wanted to figure out how do we set up disaster recovery. We need the ability during a change management or testing to be able to spin up resources. It no longer made sense to have all this excess capacity for those needs. So what Dell did is through the consulting aspect, we went through, performed an assessment, say, here's what you need. It's a combination of Dell on-premise for SAP, 
let's optimize your application with our cloud tools here, and let's also provide these resources on the fly that you subscribe to, but let's only do it for your disaster recovery and your QA and testing. Okay? Any other time we don't really need that. Okay? And let's just subscribe to some resources on the fly as your needs dictate. As a result, we we're able to reduce the overall uh, targeted 20% support costs over three years, and today, University of Kentucky has a full 60% of the disaster recovery, QA, and test systems on Dell's vCloud. It's a balanced, optimized mix of on-premise, off-premise, and Dell's cloud that drives the most value. So our point of view is, we're going to continue to support you on-premise just like we do today. But our key investment strategy is to make sure that you have options, that yep. we can provide you the best IT delivery that drives the most business value for your organization. So with that, Brian, what questions do we have? All right, everybody, with the biggest question is how long you get a big round of applause and put your hands together for Ralph Mitch, everybody. Thank you, Ralph. He comes over on his own time. Pretty exciting stuff. Really quick, uh, I'm going to get to some announcements in a minute. Does anybody have any quick questions? You can also do a quick Q&A with Ralph afterwards one-on-one. -on -one. Absolutely. And we have reps standing by to talk to you. Do a brief demo with them. I'll tell you why. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, okay, so we can thank you very much, uh, Ralph. We want to get some great information. Now, you know, it's, don't leave just yet. Again, why? Well, because right now we're about to spin the wheel. We're going to have a drawing to see who gets to spin the wheel to win the prize. Can you make sure those tickets, does everybody have the prize ticket in hand? If you don't, please raise your hand. Raise your hand right now. Okay, the food assistants are standing by to make sure that you have one. And we'll have the drawing in a minute. Okay? Okay. Also, just don't forget this, everybody. Take a few minutes, everybody, after the drawing. And view the various stations that are through kind of here with Del Wise food, but also the Del booth right across the way. Okay, here you're gonna see firsthand how Dell, Wise, and his parent company Dell, they operate everything that you need to migrate to cloud cloud computing or enhance your current virtual desktop environment. And then and, and, and don't forget, check out the new Dell Wise P25 and P45 with your clients purpose built for the Aware View, as well as the new powerful compact Dell Wise D Class Bitcoin platform. Uh, we also have some great other technologies on display, including the Dell Mobile Desktop and Mobile Computing. Okay? No one offers you more to realize the full potential of your cloud or virtual environment anywhere from the data center to the desktop. No one does it as well as Dell. <laughs> All right. Okay. Time to spin the wheel. Remember, you have to be present to win. Also, guys, come back to any of the drives. They're not cumulative. We basically will let these go. So you come back to them as many times as you want. We want you to come back and visit us as much as possible, obviously. Okay? So let's go ahead and spin. Are you ready, ladies? Everybody in? All right. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. And let's reach in. Please close your eyes. Close your eyes. When I say pull, one, two, three, pull the ticket that happens to be in your hand right now. And let's see who the winner is. Number? No. Two one five seven. Two one five seven. You are up and stick to win. Everybody else, winner. Oh, we have this right now. Everybody, stick around because we want you to go do a brief demo. Just talk to a rep, and they'll have uh, some gift cards for you. Uh, some gift cards, like some downloadable music, USB ports, T-shirts. So talk to a rep, do a demo, and take just a couple minutes, and they'll make sure you get hooked up. All right, we are ready to spin the win. All right, is it Dave? Yeah. Hello, Dave. How are you? Stops. Nobody knows. Yeah. He is going home with a power trip portable phone charger. All right, there's a protocol we're going to put you through, sir, as well as get an affidavit notarized, some paperwork, 